Okay guys, so it's time for another video. And I've been waiting for this one for a long time now. And in this video you're gonna see me install the Eco Hitch on my BMW i3. And this is all that it comes with. Or at least what I got it with. So this is the 2 inch receiver. And uh, this one feels really sturdy. And I'll be watching the instructions on how to install this one. There is a great video on YouTube on this. So the purpose with this video is to show you what it's like for someone that have never installed something like this. And um, give you my take on it. So I'm going to need to remove the bumper uh, to get this one in there. So they say that this one requires no drilling for installing. Uh, though there, need, is a bit, there is a need for cutting like out a section under here. So it should be fairly easy. I think it's going to take maybe one and a half hour. And here they say how big that hole should be. That's good. Pretty good. So I'm going to try to follow this one. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. So I'm going to start by just removing the license plate. And under there, there should be one screw in the center that needs to be removed. And after that, I'm going to remove this one and this one. Next I'm going to need to remove 8 more of these and they are located all under here. So just to recap which bolts I actually did remove, you see here 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, and then eight. So now it's time for step six, and we're gonna peel back the wheel well liner and release the bumper fascia tab. So let's do that. Okay, so here we can see these tabs that they mentioned in the instructions. So I'm just gonna do them without camera. And this is actually the one that the, I mean, because I thought that they were following this line, but you're not, they're actually following um, this line here. Okay, so that is the bumper basically off. Uh, if you're like me and you don't really have any friends helping out, you can just use a stool. This one works fine. And next thing is just going to be connect disconnecting all of these cables. Um, easy part, probably like, like this. Let's figure out how to do that. So I'm going to connect disconnect this one. The lighting for the re registration plate. This one. And all of the four sensors down here in the bottom. And then I also have a bonus cable. I have this bonus cable here for my uh, DIY backup camera. So I need to figure out something with that one. So I'm going to show you on the last one here. And that's it. And for this one we're supposed to pop it out of the socket. 
like that. There we go. And now when we have this outside, we have a bit more space to remove the cable. Easy. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is remove these two and these two and I'm gonna use a 16 millimeter socket on the bottom and The tool here Is something that I don't really have so I'm gonna use a plier and just hold it on and we're gonna see I think it's gonna work Actually, I forgot one step here. I forgot to trim out the section here. That's supposed to be six and a quarter inches wide. That's about 16 centimeter wide here. And then one and a quarter inches deep, and that's about three and a half centimeter deep. So I'm gonna trim that out here. So I got a small section trimmed out over here. Uh, it was a little bit harder to cut that than I had anticipated. So I just ended up using this uh, uh, scissor that's for metal. It worked kind of well. The plastic just kept uh, breaking off. So it's not the nicest cut, but it's never gonna be seen anyway. So I don't think it matters. So that part is done. Okay, so next thing to install is this uh, brace right here and it's gonna go somewhere like this so I will need to loosen a bolt under here and put this one through that one it's gonna reuse that one and it's also gonna use I believe it's gonna use this one as a spacer
Okay, so from here on, I don't have any audio. My GoPro decided to just stop recording audio for some reason. Uh, so we're just gonna play some non-copyrighted music, and you're just gonna get to watch me do what I do in silence. So, yeah, that's how it is. Uh, it's not that hard. I think it took me about uh, two and a half hours uh, to install this one. I did trim a little bit. I didn't trim enough over here. So I had a bit of a hard time to stretching the bumper down so that the screws underneath would um, would reach. But um, it worked. I got them all in here, under here. And It's on there, pretty good, and removing it, at least with a pin, is rather easy. Just like that. And so this is what's left behind it. It's clearly visible, I can't say that it's, it's not visible, uh, from a side perspective um, 
this is what you what you would be left with it doesn't affect the ground clearance and uh, it's not gonna pop out behind the bumper so it's further in than the bumper but it no oh, it's clearly visible it's a little bit more visible than I were expecting it to be but it's not that bad so before we end this video I'm gonna show you what tools I used for all of this I had to use a Torx 20 for removing these two I had to use a 8 millimeter socket for um, in the wheel well for the for the liner as well as for under the whole bumper I, I used a uh, Phillips head screwdriver for the license plate and the bolt behind it and then I had to use some of these for the license plate as well as for the wheel liner and the for the trim panel around here uh, use some measurement stuff a pen to mark out where I need to cut and a saw for cutting as well as I needed a 17 millimeter socket or wrench as well as a few sockets and these are in a size of 213 one is 14 and then we have one that is 16 and that is all I used for this anyway uh, thank you for watching and uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions you can just put them below and uh, I will try to help you out